Hello and welcome to the Generational Gamer. You know what? I went to Eternia. And the Masters of the Universe. And picked up a few things. So I happened to see Pluck and I thought it was probably a pretty good price. I actually got it for 25 bucks. And looking it up, it's actually a little bit more than that, but not much. Now Snoopy, I saw this, and I immediately remembered that Blaine Locklear was talking about that. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna pick that up. I got that for 15. So all in all, I got I spent like $53 because my son wanted some cars. So pretty cool. I'm gonna go check it out, see what it looks like on the inside. This one, other than the case needing some cleaning, there's like some uh, residue here from stickers. It's in, you can either use alcohol or Goo Gone. Goo Gone's probably the better way to go. The back's in really good shape. There doesn't appear to be any kind of damage there. The manual and the disc are in really good shape. Take a look. As you can see, the, man, the disc looks like it was resurfaced or perfect. And then the manual is in excellent shape as well. There's not even a crinkled page. So yeah, pretty impressive. I have not even opened this one up, but the labels all look pretty good. So here's Pluck, just a cartridge. Labels in good shape. The back label is in pretty good shape given how old the game is. We're gonna open it up and see what it looks like. Okay, and here's the cartridge. It's authentic. You can see the model number of the cartridge right here. It says Nintendo, that's a good sign. I will rub some alcohol on here just before I throw it into my Super NT. But all in all, it looks pretty good. Well, we'll clean this and see how it works. In case you're at all curious on how to take apart an SNES cartridge, you just remove these two screws here and then it lifts right off. And then the board with the chips faces down. And I'll put it back together top part back on and just press it down and then you put your two screws back in you're good to go and now it's ready to play Oh, my God. 
Snoopy, welcome to your first training session. And thus the day was saved from the Red Baron and his flying circus, thanks to the famous World War I flying ace. What are you reading, Linus? Snoopy wanted me to proofread his latest manuscript. Oh, good grief. It's a pretty thrilling adventure, Charlie Brown. You should read it. Chapter 1 Aerodrome Island A lone figure swept the floor at the Allies' hangar bay. I can't believe in this story Snoopy made me the janitor. So this game is kind of like a Star Fox taking place during the World War I era. And... It does support progressive scans, so although this was recorded using the RetroTINK and component cables, it would actually work fine with the Keiko or really any other direct component to HDMI adapter, and then you can plug it into the M Classic. This is some gameplay, you gotta destroy a bunch of stuff, and then of course you got your missions and stuff. It's a fun game. I haven't had a whole lot of time to play it yet, but from what I have played, I've enjoyed it. And I think Blaine was absolutely correct when he showed off this game. So, yeah, for 15 bucks, I think it's worth it. But I'm thinking about doing some live streams on these games at some point. I don't know when. But let me know in the comments below what you all think, and have a good one. The rest of the video will just be gameplay of this game. Bye-bye.